Welcome students. Today we will solve third problem on kinetics of particles based on work energy principle. So let us start today's lecture. So we are given one statement over here. So let us read that statement first. A block of weight 2000 Newton rests on a rough horizontal surface and pulled by a force of 800 Newton at an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal. Determine the velocity attained by the block after it has moved 20 meter starting from rest. Proceed to calculate the further distance moved by the body if the pull is removed. Use work energy principle. So let us understand this through the diagram. So we are given one block. The weight of the block is 2000 Newton and it is resting on a rough horizontal surface. On this block, a pull of 800 Newton is applied, which is at 30 degrees to the horizontal. And we are asked to find the velocity attained by the block after it has moved 20 meter starting from rest. So let us solve this part first. So in order to solve that part, we first have to complete the free body. So for that, first of all, we will represent its weight, which we have to show in downward direction and its weight is 2000 Newton. After that, we will show normal pressure. Let us call that as N. And we will show pull of 800 Newton acting on this block at an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal. And we are given that this block is resting on a rough horizontal surface. That means we have to consider frictional force also. As we know that pull of 800 Newton is acting on the block. So block will move towards right. That means we have to show friction towards left. So let us call that as F. Now these are the forces acting on the block given to us. Now in the next step, we have to resolve this force into its components. So along horizontal, we will have 800 cos 30 as its component. And along vertical, we will have 800 sin 30 as its vertical component. After this, we will show its two positions. That is position 1 and position 2. At position 1, the block was at rest. And position 2 represents the stage when block has covered 20 meters from stage 1. And we have to find velocity of this block at stage 2. And we know at stage 1 the velocity of block V1 is 0 because system was at rest initially. And at stage 2 let us call the velocity of the block is V2 which we have to find. Now we will apply work energy principle to get that answer. So we will say at position 1, the kinetic energy of the block will be 0 because initial velocity of the block is 0. Then we will find kinetic energy of the block at position 2 which is the final kinetic energy. So we will say at position 2, V2 is not known to us which we have to find. So final kinetic energy T2 will be equal to half mv2 square. We are not given mass of the block, we are given weight of the block. It means in order to get the mass, we have to divide its weight by 9.81 into v2 square. So we will get T2 equal to 101.93 v2 square. After this, we will find work done on this block by the forces. Let us see what forces are doing work done on this block. The horizontal component of this external force is acting towards the direction of motion. That means it will do the positive work done. Friction force is acting against the direction of motion. So it will do negative work done. It means work done on this block from stage 1 to stage 2 will be represented as u12 equal to 800 cos 30 into 20 minus f into 20. So we have taken work done because of the horizontal component positive because it is acting in the direction of motion. And we have taken work done because of frictional force negative because it is against the motion. 
where 20 represents the distance covered between stage 1 and stage 2. So from here we will get work done as 138.56.41 minus mu k n into 20. So we have replaced f by mu n. We know value of mu k as 0.2 given in the quotient. And value of n will be equal to 2000 minus 800 sin 30. So let us put these values. So we have entered mu k as 0.2 and n as 2000 minus 800 sin 30. So from here, we will get work done as 7456.41 Newton meter. Now we will apply work energy principle. That is, initial kinetic energy of the system plus work done on the system is equal to final kinetic energy of the system. So let us put these values and we will get equation as 7456.41 is equal to 101.93 v2 square. So from here we will get value of the velocity of block A after it has moved 20 meters from rest and it is equal to 8.55 meter per second. Now let us find B part. So in the B part we are asked to calculate the further distance moved by the body if the pull is removed. That means once this block has reached position 2 and has attained a velocity of 8.55 meter per second, at that point pull of 800 newton is removed and block is traveling because of inertia after position 2. And we have to find what distance block will cover further before it comes to rest. So in order to find this, we have to find the retardation on the block A after position 2 because of this frictional force. So in order to find that retardation, we have to consider this block again, we have to draw its free body again but without this pull. So let us draw that free body. So we will represent block B on the horizontal surface. We will represent its weight acting in downward direction. We will represent its normal pressure. And we have removed the pull and only one force is acting in horizontal direction that is the frictional force against the motion. And we know this is equivalent to Ma. So we will apply equation as summation fx is equal to Ma. Only one force is acting in x direction but it is against the motion. So we will consider this as negative minus f is equal to ma. So from here we will get minus mu k n is equal to ma. Now we know the value of mu k as 0.2. Value of n will be equal to 2000. Mass of the block is 2000 by 9.81 and we will get its acceleration. So let us put these values. So 0.2 into 2000 is equal to 2000 divided by 9.81 into A. So from here we will get retardation as minus 1.962 meter per second square. Now we know retardation and we have to find distance traveled and we know final velocity is 0 and initial velocity will be the velocity at stage 2 which we have calculated as 8.55 meter per second. So we'll use these values to get that distance. So we'll say v square minus u square is equal to 2as. So final velocity is 0, initial is 8.55. Retardation we have calculated, we, have, we will find distance. So we'll get 0 minus 8.55 square is equal to 2 into minus 1.962 into t. So from here we'll get distance as 18.62. So I hope this answer is clear to you. Thank you very much.